All right, everyone, this tutorial is to quickly review our exercise one from chapter one in uh, respect to the angle spacer. So this exercise is going to review absolute coordinates, everything relating to zero comma zero. Here you can see we have exercise one it's loaded in the same way that you would see it in the textbook. What we need to do now is pick a spot that we're going to actually use as our zero comma zero or our start point. I'm going to use the lower left corner of this diagram. Now each one of these dimensions is going to come into play as we build our coordinate pairs. Remember that every coordinate pair that we build is x comma y. Always the x first. That would be this axis followed by the y, which is the vertical axis. So our first ordinate pair is 0, 0, and that'll be here in the left corner. Our next ordinate pair is going to come at the second point, and we're going to follow the rest of each of these intersections of the object lines all the way around for a total of 10 coordinate pairs as we come around. So I've laid in our second coordinate pair going a total of 3 in the x-axis and 0 in the y-axis. Our third pair from 0, 0, we'll move 3 in the x-axis and 1.5 in the y. Our next two coordinate pairs move in the x-direction 3, then we have to take away 0.75, leaving 2.25, and then our travel in the y-axis is a total of 2, which is the overall height of this part, followed by another direction change from 0, 0. We're moving a total of 3 and then taking away 1.75 to come over a grand total of 1.25, and we're still moving 2 in the y-axis. Our next two pair bring us back to no movement in the x-axis but a total of 1.25 in the y-axis from 0, 0. Our next coordinate pair, we're moving no amount in the x-axis as indicated, but we're moving a total of 0.25 plus 0.5, or a total of 0.75 in the y-axis for this point. Our last three pair move a total of 0.75 in the x-axis from 0, 0, and 0.75 in the y-axis. And I accomplish that by doing the math, taking away 2, excuse me, 1.25 from 2 to arrive at 0.75, and 0.75 in the y, 0.25 plus the 0.5. This next coordinate pair, I'm moving a total of 0.75 in the x from 0, 0, and 0.25 in the y. The last pair is only moving no, no amount in the x-axis and 0.25 in the y. And then AutoCAD allows us to close by resuming uh, returning to our 0 comma 0. And here is the table of coordinate pairs. If you want to go ahead and pause this, you can use this table of coordinate pairs to complete the exercise. We'll now do it in AutoCAD.